Hello everybody, and yes, welcome to another edition of Potty Boy Plays with your host Andrew, aka Potty Boy. Now today, I'm going to be taking a look at Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare for the PC. Uh, this is of course also available on the uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox One as well. And I believe the uh, PlayStation versions are due to come out uh, very soon as well for the uh, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Uh, now, I got this one on uh, Origin um, as part of their game time. Um, thingy what's it uh, basically, basically if you don't know what game time is it's a, f a feature they've got on origin whereby uh, every now and then they would allow you to download a game for free uh, and you're allowed to keep it for up to three days um, you know, which is a pretty neat idea it's a good way of trying out a game before you buy and, uh, and turn out, I think Sony had a um, and, come, and talking of which it, it does remind me of a, a system that Sony um, uh, Sony has with their um, if you but with those ones you have to have a PlayStation Plus subscription and when you download the game you only get an hour to play it. Uh, you do ha you did however get a bigger choice a uh, bigger range of games. Uh, yeah, but but this one this one I'd say you get you do. I'd say that despite the much more limited range of games available, um, you do get a, a much fairer deal. Like I said, you, you don't have to. You don't have to be a, a, a member of a, a subscription service. You just need an Origin account, which is free anyway. And um, and like I said, you get to download it and you get to keep it for three days. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've been having a little bash around with this one. Um, I have, of course. Um, and of course, if you're not familiar with the whole Plants vs Zombies uh, thing, uh, the original Plants vs Zombies was uh, developed by uh, a small uh, casual indie game, a uh, casual game company called uh, Popcat Games. Uh, released back in 2009, I believe. Um, I believe, and uh, it's, it became quite popular. <laughs> yeah, um, I've, I have actually played it. Uh, played it. I think the first time I played it was on my was on my PS3, and it was. Um, and uh, I think I think the first time I played it, I think I played it for about three hours. I think um, a, good, a good couple of hours I spent on it. Um, to add. And I don't think it's I, I I didn't think it was that bad a game. Uh, I thought it was uh, pr I thought it was pretty good. Obviously, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, so, and yeah, it's definitely more of a casual game. Um, I'm myself not not particularly a huge fan of casual games. I tend to find that sometimes they may be a little bit too simplistic. But uh, but this one, yeah, Plants vs Zombies was pretty good. I I, I did it. Yeah, you know, I, I sat down. I played it for a bit. I haven't played it for ages actually. And I, I'd have to get round to that. Um, but of course, uh, it, it did become popular. Um, uh, Popcat games, uh, Popcat, uh, yeah, Popcat games uh, were, of course, uh, bought out by uh, PA. Okay, and uh, of course, they did, they did a Plants vs Zombies 2, which I've yet to try. I've got it on my phone, so, <laughs> uh, but I've yet, to, I've yet, to, I've still yet to play it. Uh, play it. And then, of course, they bought this out. <laughs> yeah, and um, and um, I thought, well. And I thought well, it would be interesting to see how this one works. Um, the first time I heard of this was um, it was shortly after. It was around about the same time when Plants vs Zombies 2 came out, and um, and basically we heard that they bought the rights to uh, they that the developers Popcat they uh, bought, bought the rights to use the Frostbite engine uh, for a Plants vs Zombies game. And I thought, well, what the hell are they going to do with that? Because um, obviously, if you don't know, the Frostbite engine was uh, it's it's the it's the um, it's the game engine used in the Battlefield games, um, it's in particular. Um, so, and so I thought, right, what are they going to do with it? And then I saw a preview video of it. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, <laughs> this sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> um, so now, of course, you know, it's, it came out in uh, February for the uh, Xbox One and the Xbox 360 and the PC. Uh, this in particular is the PC version, of course. Um, it's it's due out uh, any time soon for the PlayStation platforms. Um, um, but um, but anyway, enough of that. Um, is this game worth it? Um, it's it's actually better than I thought. It's I actually um, I actually thought you, you know uh, it's going to be like Plants vs Zombies. It's a casual game. So, I mean, you know, it's going to be very a very very basic first person shooter sort of thing. You know, with a few few twists and uh, surprisingly it su surprisingly, I, I wouldn't say it, it is a I wouldn't say it I mean I still wouldn't say it's a massively deep game but it's but it's a lot uh, but I'll tell you something it's a really really well well designed very well programmed game I'll give it that uh, the, the graphics itself actually look pretty gorgeous 
uh, for especially for you know, a cartoon game. And uh, yeah, um, I'm really, they they do look really impressive. Um, plus, you know, the cat designs, of course, you know, are absolutely top notch, very cartoony, and it, it's 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 just an absolute it's just an absolute blast to play. Um, hey, it's um, it, I'd say it's most it is mostly um, online focused. In fact, uh, come to think of it, there's um, when, well, when I said there's not much uh, to it, uh, I just meant to say I meant to say that there's there's very little in the way of like single player. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no there's no story mode or anything like that. Um, it's just it's just more of a, it's more of a game that you, you come in and you sit down and you you just have fun with it. <laughs> um, it. It's a game that you can sit down, you can play it for like yeah like 10, 15 minutes perhaps. Um, Things. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm d for this video, I've done a full 20-minute, um, uh, 20-minute match uh, on easy mode. It, it doesn't look anything too exciting at first, but let, trust me, later, later on, it, especially when you play it on harder difficulties and stuff, it can get pretty manic. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a really good fun of, it's just, it's, overall, it's just a fun game. My favourite character uh, to play when I'm on. The of course, I'm on the plants team at the moment. Uh, my absolute favourite character is the character you see here. It's the uh, the chomper. Um, I just love the fact that you can just bury underground and then you can just, uh, launch a surprise attack on the zombies. Um, I think it, I think it's really good fun. Uh, you can also spit out um, venom as well uh, to basically uh, poison them and slow slow the zombies down, which is pretty good. And uh, good. And um, I I I just think it, I just think it's just I, th I just think the chomper is an awesome character. <laughs> yeah. And. Um, yeah, so I had a lot of so yeah, um, so I'm having quite a bit of fun playing this. It is a lot better than I thought. Um, thought it was going to be. It was it's certainly a lot more fun. I just thought it would be one of those games that would be like um, it. It would just be like you know I don't I wouldn't play it for t uh, play it for so long and eventually I'd get bored of it. Um, but um, surprisingly, I had some. I am having some good fun with this. <laughs> um, um, it, play, it plays well. Um, for, for what it is, uh, it looks really nice. Uh, it's nice, and it, it's just a really, really good, fun uh, little game that you can just sort of pick up and play for a couple of minutes, perhaps. Um, perhaps. And uh, yeah, it's 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 <laughs> it's finally it's finally good to see EA do something right for change. <laughs> uh, change, yeah. A lot of the um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Considering the output recently, this is actually uh, this is actually yeah, somewhat of a surprise. Um, yeah, it's. <laughs> Uh, I mean, obviously, I mean, I mean, let's, let's take, um, for example, let's let's take a look at uh, EA's uh, recent games, uh, most recent games. Um, obviously, uh, Titanfall is one of them. Uh, an Xbox, uh, of course, it's uh, yeah, it's a Microsoft uh, Xbox exclusive. Well, uh, it was released on the PC as well, of course. Um, not particularly the absolute best of games, um, and so from what I know, um, uh, I think I think. Um, I think a lot of people said. Uh, I think that's what Microsoft basically turned around and said. Oh, it's going to be a cool, you know, it's going to be better than Call of Duty and stuff. Um, yeah, if the sales, pretty bad, I, I wouldn't. If the sales, you know, are anything to come by, uh, the game itself, you know, <laughs> um, uh, well, I wouldn't say it was a really, really poor seller. I guess I'm guessing a few people would have bought it. Um, bought it, and so I'm saying that I've not. I can't really say much about the game myself. I've not actually played it, so um, I played it. But um, I, it's probably one that I'll probably pick up if, if it goes cheap. Um, cheap, but, um, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, then of course you got um, the whole fiasco with um, you had the whole fiasco with Sim City as well, uh, with the whole um, having, yeah having to be always online sort of thing, um, which is a pretty pretty dick move by EA if you ask me. Um, yeah, it was a pr pretty silly move they did. Um, and uh, there's a few other games as well. Um, d uh, obviously, um, uh, one, of, one of the things that EA has been really bad for is obviously with, with a few of their mobile games, perhaps as well. Um, obviously, D uh, Dungeon Keeper was on the mobile phones was was an absolute travesty of a game. Uh, game, from what I heard, it was basically um, in-app purchases. The game, <laughs> uh, game. It's uh, it's basically it's basically you you just literally have to. Uh, li it's literally so much. Of a, it was literally so much of a grind fest. Um, saying that I've not played it, but I've seen it, and I've heard. Uh, and of course, uh, one of my friends, uh, to uh, Tony, aka um, ZXSS, um, 
so, as a yeah, he's he's done a review. He has actually done a review of the game, game, and he he actually went on and slated it. Uh, cause, yeah, because I mean he was a, he was a big fan of the original Dungeon Keeper. Um, I've got Dungeon Keeper somewhere, but I've uh, on my PC somewhere, but I've not. I've, I must confess, I've not played it that much. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, that's yeah. So given EA's recent output, this is quite a surprise. And uh, yeah, um, and I I do recommend the sort of one that you give. Well, I do recommend that you at least give it give it a try. In, in if you in if you're not a fan of the original World Plants vs Zombies games, you know it's if you're after a first person shooter, yeah, you know, something that's a bit, bit but yeah, you know, it's a little bit different, a bit of a twist. Maybe you just want something to act as like a stopgap in between games. Um, in between larger plays, um, plays. This this is a good little. Um, this is a, a quite a nice little fun game to go for. Um, I thought it's yeah, it's an absolute right and multiplayer, of course, and it's it, you know it, it's it's just a damn right f f yeah, it's just a, f a fun little game. Um, fun, little ga uh, fun little game. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I think this is definitely a good game for, uh, for like kids and families as well. I know that. Um, um, I know that Zelix Double S, uh, he plays quite a lot with his, uh, with his uh, son as well. Um, as well, and uh, they, yeah, they both sit down, they really enjoy it, and have uh, got they have a bit of fun blasting zombies and things. And uh, yeah, and I can see why it's it's it is actually quite a fun little game. Um, I re I really do like this one. Um, but would I, would I actually go out and buy it after my game time has run out? Um, I'd say I'd say at the moment I, I think at, well at the moment the game retails for um, 29.99 um, in pounds it's uh, so it's about 30 pounds on Origin um, I think at the moment I think the price uh, I think in my opinion the price is I think I think okay yeah it's a very highly polished game game and it is a lot of fun fun but I don't I don't think in terms of like the gameplay features and stuff. Um, so I don't think it offers enough to warrant a uh, lock of an almost full price purchase. Um, I'd probably wait till it gets down to about uh, if it was like say 15, 20, if it was like say if it, if, say something like 20 pounds, I would I would snap this up. Uh, 15, 15 to 20 pounds, yeah, yeah, I'd I'd snap it up straight away. So I'd probably wait till it goes cheap. <laughs> But but it is uh, but yeah unless you are willing of course willing to fork out the money if you think yeah if you think the game's really that good yeah I mean I'd, I'd say it's a, it's a very good time I'd say it, it's a very good game and I I did like this one <laughs> but, yeah I just think, I just think that at the moment the, the price tag is a little is a little steep somewhat so um, so I'm, I'm probably gonna so it's, uh, I I might pay the thirty pounds for it I don't know but um, I will consider getting uh, getting this. Uh, getting this because like I said, I have a lot of fun with this one. It's probably the most fun first-person uh, first-person game I've. Um, it's probably the most fun first or you know, third-person. Well, actually, it's not really first-person, is it? It's third-person, isn't it? Um, it? This is probably the most um, the most fun I've had in a while <laughs> uh, in terms of, terms of third-person games. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's and uh, I'm just waffling on now, so it. It's a good game. Give it, give it a try. If and if you, and if you don't like Plants vs Zombies, the, you know, the normal games, games, it, it's it's worth a look. And it, like I said, I, I'm having tons of fun with this. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it's 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 good fun. Yeah, I, I'd say, I'm saying I wouldn't. I'm just saying that I, I probably wouldn't pay the price for it is now because um, I definitely say you know, like I said, um, there's not really enough gameplay features in it. Um, to warrant a full price purchase, unless of course EA do add something in or whatnot, but <laughs> this, this is EA we're talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, and for me, it just, it's just sort of more of a stopgap game. Uh, it, it's sort of it's it's that sort of game whereby you you would you would play it in between longer. Uh, it's it's the sort of game you would probably play whilst you wait for bigger fish or um, or when you're taking a taking a break from a big from a much bigger game, say something like. Uh, say something like Crisis or something like that. You know, I mean, at the moment, at the moment, the big, um, at the, all I'm saying at the moment, the, the the game that I'm currently sitting through and playing through at the moment is the original um, Old World Age Odyssey on PlayStation. So, <laughs> yeah, because uh, because obviously I'm 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 really getting excited to because um, obviously that's one game I want to get in the future. I want to get the uh, new uh, Old World new and tasty because um, 
I've, I've only played the first two Oddworld games uh, because the third one, Munch's Odyssey and and also uh, Stra uh, Stranger's Wrath, uh, I think they were only on the Xbox uh, systems, uh, which I never had, so I never got to play them until now. Uh, now, uh, of course, I've got no excuse because there's HD remake versions of them on the PC, and I've got them on the I've, I'm on the PS3 as well. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm really looking forward to Oddworld New and Tasty. I've seen it; it looks it looks really good. Um, it looks pretty faithful to the original game, and um, and it, it's yeah. And like I said, I absolutely and I absolutely loved the first two games on the PlayStation. So um, I'm I'm now sitting down trying to play through um, the original game. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's enough of me waffling on. Um, I shall, um, uh, if, if you don't want to carry on watching the rest of this video, yeah, I've still got a couple of minutes left of this uh, video footage, but I've, uh, I left it on just, yeah, I'll, I'm not going to um, talk throughout the video. I've, I think I've said enough. <laughs> um, it's enough, it, but yeah, um, but yeah, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, you can stop the video now. And I'll leave, well, and for those who want to um, see the rest of the round, um, and, um, I shall sh love you to it. This is a uh, potty boy over and out, and I shall be back in soon with another video. And in the meantime, goodbye for now. Oh. <laughs> 